It's where a high-speed police pursuit ended in a dramatic crash, leaving the suspected car thief dead. This lengthy pursuit began with the LAPD following this stolen car in Silmar and then ended up on the 5 freeway. The driver, identified as a woman, simply would not pull over. KTLA Sandra Mitchell joins us live from Hollywood with the story. Sandra? Cher, we often watch these pursuits transfix, right? We were showing this one live this afternoon on KTLA 5. Uh, we want to warn you, this video we're about to show you, the crash ends very violently. Look at this move. He's got nowhere to go. He's going to go into the cone, hit the cone. A desperate attempt to get away would turn deadly on the 5 freeway. The cone again. He's going to do it again. Oh, man, he's got some damage now. Behind the wheel of that stolen gray Honda SUV, it's a woman about 30 years old. Speeds ranged from anywhere from 115 to over 125 miles an hour. Wow, a last second jumping onto the 138. She's going to lose control. That driver flying off the 5 freeway and into a guardrail, and then the car flips over several times before slamming into a concrete pillar at the 138. The driver died at the scene. And unfortunately, the vehicle is going too fast to negotiate the curve or the transition from southbound 5 to eastbound 138 and crashed. Now, this is not something that we want to have happen in a pursuit. This is not the outcome that we ever want out of a pursuit. It's a very unfortunate circumstance. The pursuit started about two this afternoon in Silmar, LAPD in pursuit of that stolen car. It was at this point a KTLA viewer got a brief glimpse of the woman behind the wheel. On surface streets, through the San Fernando Valley, into the New Hall area on the 14 and the 5 freeways. That pursuit went on for more than an hour. At one point, the CHP called off the chase because of the danger to other drivers. But then, in the Antelope Valley, it was back on. That unit just put up its uh, lights and sirens there. So it's going to close the gap here in just a second. And the pursuit will be back on here on the ground with a CHP in the end, we have heavier traffic though. Nobody else was injured in the chase and the CHP Central Division and the CHP Special Accident Unit is now investigating. CHP telling us tonight that investigation really just beginning so far. The driver of that vehicle has not been identified. We're live tonight in Hollywood. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Back to you, Cher and Rick. All right, Sandra, we appreciate it.